Hello, how y'all doing? It's time for another diecast flashback. And this time, I have a dinky Super Toys Euclid rear dump truck. Dinky made this model from 1955 till 1969. This is the very this is the first version. 1955. The light, the yellow. And if you'll notice on this one, this one is bent. It's actually broken. I think. No, this one's not. This one's not cracked, but it's bent. I'll have to straighten that out. But I have another one with some parts on it. There's the little mechanism that you crank to open the, to flip the dump truck up. This one was missing it. I have tires and I have decals for this one. So I'll be using this bed and possibly this body. It just depends. This, now, this one doesn't have any cracks in it. It's just bent. Now, this one is a lot more straight, but it does have a crack in it. Let's see if you can get in there to see it. Right there. Right where my thumb is. That's from those kids pushing down on it. While they whence they were playing. But hey, that's part of being a kid, man. You know? But this would be kind of interesting. I have to heat that bait heat that up. And see if I can straighten it. We'll see how that works out. I've seen a couple other guys do these. And I've had this one for a long time. It was deep in the junk box. So, let's see what I can do with this one. I invite you to stay around to the end. Make sure that if you like what you see, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these kind of videos. So I'll see you later. Got it apart. Went ahead and took both of them apart. I'm going to pick the best of the two. Like this one, the bumper's bent. This bumper here is good and straight. I'll have to, when I get it stripped, I'll look at the grill and see if it's mashed in or well, I can tell you right now, it looks like this is chipped and it's bent. So more than likely, this one is going to be the candidate. But like I say, once I get it all paint off of it, then I'll inspect it better. The uh, bucket's good. Wheels are all good. The axles. Some are crooked. It's a couple good straight ones, but that's not a problem. Can straighten them out. The cranks. Looks like one's a little more bent than the other. Not a problem either. Straighten that. I'll just have to pick the best one, the teeth, which has got the best teeth. Uh, smokestacks are good. So all of that, <clears throat> everything's good. Now, I definitely am not going to be able to use this base because, of course, I could if I had to, but the, where the bucket hooks on, they are broken. Now, if I had to do that, what I could do, or what you can do is you can take a, a little washer. Let's see if I got one. 
This one's a little bit big. Let's see. You can take that, this little washer. This, like I say, this one's too big, but you can line the washer up there and fill that in. And uh, you can have your, I got some smaller ones that would work, but don't need to, not gonna worry about it. Uh, it is cracked, but the thing about it, so is this one a little. This one is actually cracked back here, right back in here, and here, or was it here? But the saving grace of it all is that all of this right here is one piece. So if that does break, I can still straighten it out because of all this meat in this metal. I just have to fill in the crack. So that's good. So this will work. Thank goodness. Okay. Well, we'll see uh, what it looks like after it's all stripped off and cleaned up. Okay, I got it cleaned up. I picked the best wheels. They look good, and I got this thing straightened out. It's nice and straight now. Let's check out the, the little mechanism here. There it goes. Isn't that cool? All right. Good and straight, but... It did expand the crack. You can see it right there. But I got it lined up. And uh, I'll just have to put some filler in it. Because that is the best I could get, that thing. But it looks pretty good. Well, do a little more body work on it. Got a little grill work to do. It's too bad I couldn't have taken the grill. Parts of this other one were better than this one. You know, like on the corner, there's a, like a handrail right here. There's like the top of it's mashed. I'll have to file that down and shape it up. That one was perfect. But it's okay. It'll work. Next time you see it, we'll put it together. All right, we got another one done. I put this one together off camera because basically it was just putting the wheels on it. It uh, wasn't a, a lot to it, but it turned out pretty nice. I'm happy with it. There's the details on the front and the, got all the decals on it. It's pretty cool. Let's check out the mechanism. There it goes. Pretty nice and smooth. There's the other side. Let's take a look at the bottom. There it is. Euclid rear dump truck. Dinky Super Toy. Number 965. Nice one. I like it. Speaking of liking, if you like what you see, hit the like. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you see fit. And like my old buddy Martin says, it's done and dusted. Check out my other videos on Wednesdays and Fridays. I think you'll enjoy those. Highlighting some of the models that are in my collection. Getting a lot of positive feedback, and I really appreciate that. Well, we'll see you next time with another Diecast Flashback. Have a good one.
Now that's a flashback. Have a good one.